Oh, oh, what's that, Rick? Leslie? Hey, come on, let's talk in the lounge. Right. Well, you said it was urgent. So... Well, I wasn't exaggerating. It looks like we have a breakthrough on that missing nurse of yours. You found her? Well, not yet. Sit down. Not yet, but if we do, if we're lucky enough to find her, it would give us a good shot at getting it turned. Yeah. Now, Joe Kelly called me again from Buffalo. He didn't take time to explain, but he got an address on the woman, went there, the house was deserted. But luckily, an ex-door neighbor gave him a very vivid description of the lady. Did it include a birthmark? Yes. And on the same hand that Amy said, we took all the data, put it through the computer, came up with what we were looking for. Uh, some kind of artist composite? No, no, better than that. Take a look at this. Photographs? Mm-hmm. Record. Ever see him? No, I don't remember her from the other day. Do you? Leslie? Oh, gosh, I don't think so, and I believe I would remember those eyes. Mm. Well, you're going to see a lot of them. Why? Well, because I'm going to post this in the cafeteria downstairs, and then I'm also going to put it on the TV news, and you'll see it in the evening and afternoon newspapers. Well, obviously, then you think this is the one. Well, I'll tell you, according to law, I can only call her a suspect, but between us and uh, off the record, I'll bet you ten to one that this is the woman who murdered Buster Jacobs. Well, I was right all along. There's no oil on that land. Never was and never will be. for an oil baron to behave. Once a working man, always a working man. Right? Well, you're so rich, you hire somebody. What, and give up show business? <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, I'm terrific, darling. Oh, what's all this for? Oh, you're the first good thing I've squeezed today. Mm, that must mean Holly hasn't been here. Yeah, well, nobody's been here. Listen, you want something to eat? Can I get you some uh, bacon, eggs, juice, Salisbury steak, fettuccine? Well, I get fat hearing it. No, no, I hate it, Kelly's. Well, then what are you trying to worm a free meal out of me for? Just pick uh, up the bread. No, no, come here, sit down. Dad, I have something very important to discuss with you. Well, everybody's got something important to discuss with me. Okay, but... close your eyes. Close my eyes? You heard what your old aunt said, close your eyes. Hey, look, I don't have no old aunt. Oh, I'll fly to get you nowhere. Close your eyes. Ah, right now. I'm serious. Okay, now open your hands. Oh, Dave, you're not going to put anything mushy in them, are you? <laughs> Quiet. What is this? Good U.S. green currency. Well, I know that. I can smell it a hundred yards away. Why are you giving it to me? Well, to invest in your oil well, of course. Close your eyes. No, uh, uh, no, come on, close your eyes. Do me a favor, close your eyes. Oh, that's good. Put out your hands. No, Look, I won't. I, I cannot I... accept this. Hey! Listen, Ruby, I can't do it, darling. Nothing doing. I, 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 not until we're sure. Sure about what? That there's any oil. You mean there's a doubt? Ruby, there's nothing but doubt. Papers said there was definitely oil. They did? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, they indicated certainly that you'd found oil. The whole town's talking about it. Well, I know the whole town's talking. The phone hasn't been as quiet in days. Well, then, if you can take their money, you can certainly take mine. Ruby, Ruby, who said we were taking anybody's money? Well, then, where are you getting it from? I mortgaged the star. Now, I would love nothing would make me happier than to take your last pennies and rob you of them, but I can't. Look, listen to me. I want to invest with you and get rich along with you. You're just going to end up poor again. Yeah? What do you know? Something. Well, tell me the detail. I can't. Not right now. I can't do it. Sorry. Look, look. I tell you what. Why don't you take this and put it in escrow? And then that way, when you find out everything's sure, my money's protected, your conscience is clear. Maybe the only way my conscience is going to be clear and your money is protected is if you take it and put it in a nice money market account with a lot of interest. Or go get drunk and have the biggest hangover you ever had. I am not going to take no for an answer. I'm sorry. You have no choice. I make up the rules, and even I am not going to break the rules. I have the rules right here on me, as a matter of fact. Oh, I'll yeah? read them to you. Working rule uh -huh. number one. Uh-huh. Until we find two more wells that will produce oil, we will accept no investments from family. How about friends? Working rule number two. The same for friends. Let me see that. 
You like that, Rose? Uh -huh. That's a grocery list. Eggs, yeah. well, bacon. Working rule number three. I can make up the rules as I go along. <laughs> oh, seriously, Luke, can I invest, please? Oh. Just I, Look, Kelly's is free and clear, and I've been dying for a long time to take out a small loan on it. Rosie, darling, don't you hear what you're saying? Kelly's is all you have. Maybe so, but it's never going to make me rich. I give up. One sniff of oil and the whole town is ready to pump Ethel. Well, we just want to get in on the action, Luke. But it's not going to be like that, darling. But we want to get rich and long run along it's with It's not going to be like that. It's not going to be like what? Oh, these women have gone into a primal investment frenzy. <laughs> They're not the only ones. Hello, Ruby. Yes. Hi, Holly. Would you please talk some sense into this nephew of mine? He won't take my money. I've told them that we have an agreement that we will not accept money from friends or family until we have two more producing wells. Oh, but that could be weeks, months. Talk to him, Holly. He only listens to beautiful women. I can't. You take it. No. Luke is right. We certainly shouldn't take a, a shilling from friends until we're certain. You too. This is my partner. Looks like we have hit a brick wall, Rose. Two walls, the way I see it. Look, look, just give us a little time. It won't take us long until we find out. I promise you, you will be the first people to know if we open up for investments. I promise. Barker here. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm afraid my test results have proven what I've known all along. There is no oil out in that land by the dump site. None at all. But call me in the lab when you get home. Thanks. So the only thing we can do is issue a warrant for the woman's arrest. Well, if I know you, you already have. Yes, at 8 o'clock this morning. It's a statewide warrant, but uh, I think she's probably left the country by now. You've got her name? Oh, sure. Name? Yeah. Teresa Elm, Catherine Tucker, Deborah Rudder, Mildred Pavlik. Folks, we are dealing with a professional hit woman. There are enough names here to fill a phone book. Would you like to hear some more? No, I think we get the picture. Well, of course, I've already notified Interpol. Sorry that I don't have any better news for you at the moment. Bert, don't say that. You've done very well. Thanks. We're sure trying. Listen, are you sure there is no hospital policy against my posting this in the Capitol? Not at all. We welcome it. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be talking to you when I have any other news. Bye now. Thanks, Bert. That is exactly the last thing in the world I wanted to happen. Why? I got all the sports center's problems smack right dab in the hospital's lap. Yes, it would seem you have. I should have realized that something like this could happen. You know, Buster might have been safer if he stayed in that hotel room with Packy. No mm -hmm. doubt you've seen the afternoon paper? <laughs> No, uh, we just had a talk with Bert Ramsey, however. Very tempted to run out there and steal every newspaper from every board member's front lawn before they can take a look at this. I wouldn't do any good. It's going to be on the evening news. Yes, and also, uh, Bert's going to post a flyer in the cafeteria. A professional hit woman in my hospital. Steve, I think a you better let me... A member of the mob who's wanted in six different states. Steve, You're I... You're running out of excuses and explanations, Rick. The mob has infiltrated General Hospital. And it's nobody's fault but yours. Lila Quartermain. <clears throat> Mrs. Lila Quartermain. Lila Quartermain. Not one piece of mail, not even one piece of junk mail for the head of this family. What are you grumbling about? Hmm. Well, the Dow Jones dropped seven points a day. My accountant tells me we're going to be audited for the fourth time in this quarter. And my dear, darling wife insisted that I come home early for some kind of a special dinner that she has planned. Now, how do you like my outfit? Yeah, it's lovely. Thank you. You know what? I wasn't that amused. What's your problem? I don't like being cut off on my own street, that's what. Oh, that was you? That I'm was sorry. me. You ought to try using your turn signals. Yeah, I know, but I always enjoy the element of surprise when I'm driving. I'm taking a poll, Alan. How do you like this outfit? You look gorgeous. It's Thank perfect. You very much. I think I'll wear something blue to match you. <laughs> See, what's all the fuss? We're just going out for dinner. You mean you don't know what day this is? Yeah, it's Friday. 
of the worst week I've had in ages. Are you still fuming about losing out on that oil field? Well, I'm sorry, my boy, but it still hurts, you know, deep inside the wallet. It's only a business deal, sir. There'll be others. Oh, is that what you say about your patients? <laughs> There'll be others? That's hardly a valid comparison. Hey, you're right about that. You know, losing out on this oil deal is like losing a child or a wife or an arm. Good, good. You're all here on time. I still have to change. Yeah. Well, you better hurry, dear, because we shall be leaving here in precisely one half hour. And I'm just going out in the kitchen to ask Stella to start serving the hors d'oeuvre. But please, please leave room for the rack of lamb, because the, uh, the uh, Versailles room is preparing it specially for us. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I love the way she does that. She marches right in here, growls out her orders, and then exits gracefully. I think from now on, I'm going to call her the little general. <laughs> What's in the bag? Or something they'll both enjoy. You been out shopping? No, I picked them up something when I was in Paris. Hey, wait a minute. Them? I thought this was a family night. Who the hell are them? You and Mother, of course. It's your anniversary, Edward. He forgot. Oh, I know. good Lord. Mm -hmm. I never even bought her a gift. I figured that, so I'll cover it for you. You're lucky you have her. You know that, don't you? Oh. <laughs> oh. Going Bless to love you, it. Monica. You've saved what's left of the week. <laughs> <laughs> what did I get? Oh, it was a surprise. Oh, good, good, good. I love surprises. <laughs> I wonder what she got me. Huh? Something that would fit a man of your outstanding character. Mm. Yes, maybe a book on how to cheat your fellow businessmen. <laughs> oh, 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 ever the wit, aren't you, Monica? Mm -hmm. uh, come on, Alan, let's uh, get changed. Okay, fine idea. Hey, do you suppose there really is a book like that? Can I get you another? Oh, he's got you bartending, too. No, but I've become quite familiar with where everything is kept. Well, that's a very good way to start a serious relationship. <laughs> no, I think this is going to do me quite nicely, thank you. But you go ahead and have another one. You said just like Luke. Well, I should. I raised him. I even gave him my sense of humor. <laughs> I should have known he didn't dream it up himself. Here they come. Ross, thank you very much. I appreciate all your help, but I'm not going to change no. my mind. Hello. Look, I don't get it. I've already told you I'm more than willing to accept the risk. Listen, I am not, okay? I am not. The Kelly's is all you have. I don't want to see you put a mortgage down on it. I can't take that kind of responsibility, Ruby. Will you help me out here, please? In no way, I'm on her side. Tell you what, tell you what. I'll accept your word instead, Luke. You want to dig two more holes? Great. Just promise me you'll let me invest after the wells are dug. You got a deal. Great. Me Thank too. You. Good. Now, is everybody satisfied? I got what I came for. Now it's back to the diner and back <laughs> to reality. Hi, I baby. have to get changed. Mind if I come along? No, not I'll get on my walk. I left the car home. Oh, no, that's fun. I could use the exercise. I'll meet you back here later. Uh, no, Tiffany, Laura, and Jackie's apartment. We're going to get the call there. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll see you later. Ruby, always a pleasure. Oh, mine too. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other often, soon. Yeah, I'm sure. Bye, love. Thanks, Bye. Luke. Bye. 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 What did you two talk about? Holly and me. Yeah, uh, you got real quiet when Rose and I came in the room talking about me. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Come on, Ruby, give me a break. Would I betray another woman? Does she like me? <laughs> you mean you haven't noticed? Well, we've spent a lot of time together. Sweetheart, listen to me. I really like her. She's the best thing that's happened to you in a long, long time. I know. I know. I just hope this amateur geologist uh, is really just coming to a dead end, that's all. But all the other guys say there is oil. I know, but this guy is dead sure there isn't. He's, uh, yeah, something about it is making me very nervous. So what? You've lost nothing and you met Holly along the way. How come you always know what to say? It's easy. I'm smarter than you are. That's true. <laughs> okay, put me at the head of your oil list, and I'll be seeing you. You are at the head of it, and you'll remain there. Hang on to your nickels. They could be dimes before you know it. <laughs> I'll buy that. So long, oil baron. So long, madam. X. Hey, Luke, what are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm doing your job. Where have you been? Today's my day off. Oh. Huh. Well, then what are you doing here? Can you borrow some roller skates? Some what? Roller skates. You have some in the car to hold. I do? What yeah. do you want with roller skates? Going on a date with Laura. Remember like you told me? Oh, good thinking. Mm. 
Yeah. Keep old Tiffany off her uh, toes, huh? That's right. What do you want? You're going to take her roller skating? This is uh, your idea of a, of a, of a date? Well, that's the general idea. I borrow her skates, I take her roller skating. Uh-huh. You've really captured the spirit of romance. Yeah. Well. Okay, well, thanks a lot. I'll bring them back, all right? Don't bother. I don't know whose they are. Keep them. Okay. Hi, I'm Jackie Templeton. Can't come to the phone right now because I'm out. What the hell is taking so long? Yes, is this a newspaper office? Hi, I wonder if I could speak with uh, Jackie Templeton? Uh, no, I already tried her apartment, but uh, I left a message with her uh, answering uh, machine. I still need to talk to her. Yes, it's extremely urgent. Look, if she comes in, would you please have her call Al Barker at General Hospital? Look, tell her I'm in the lab and I'll be working late. Right, thanks. Bye-bye. Jackie? Oh, Mother, uh, hi. Uh, no, actually, I'm waiting for a call. I'm, I'm fine. What? No, I'm, I'm okay, really. Yes, I ate breakfast this morning. One cup of coffee, I swear it. I know I sound tense. Look, Mom, can I call you back? There is absolutely nothing wrong. I'm, I'm just waiting for this call. Yeah, right. Yes, Mother. Okay, goodbye, Mother. Steve, I don't want you to turn this into some kind of personal confrontation. It is personal, Rick. I consider everything that happens here is my personal responsibility. I do, too. I always have. That's why I think we should sit down and discuss this civilly. Really? I yes. was under the impression I was being quite civil. Okay, fellas, come on now. What's done is done. Arguing isn't going to change anything. Maybe not, but it might prevent something like this from happening again. When I look back on the Bradshaw episode, I realize how much pain could have been prevented with some honest conversation. Honest conversation can be very difficult if you're setting yourself up as the principal and we're your students. Oh, Rick. That's how I feel. No, Rick. Well, Leslie's right. I guess sometimes I lean on people a little too hard, but by golly, it's my job. And if I'm upset now, you can hardly blame me. Murder, Rick. Murder right here in General Hospital. Steve, it will blow over, you know, as well as I do. It's going to take a little time with this. That's not the point. I want to know how to prevent it from happening in the future. I don't know if we can. We could start by keeping our personal problems out of the hospital. And before you start accusing me of beating around the bush, I'm referring to the sports center. I hope I don't have to repeat my warning to you, Rick. Steve, I have tried very hard to keep these two things separate, but when I found Buster in his room, he was in critical condition. Now, would you have preferred that I send him over to Mercy? Of course not. You were acting as a doctor. Yes, he was, and he usually does. And, Steve, we're on the same side here. We're the victims. Yes, and soon we'll be victims, possibly, of a medical board meeting. That's what you're really worried about. I'm worried about a lot of things, Leslie. But my main concern is to prevent something like this from happening again. Well, you know that we're going to do everything we can to see that it doesn't. I wish I could believe you. Steve, please believe it. I value this hospital very much. I always have. Its goals, its purposes are mine. And I would never let you down. If I did that, I'd be letting myself down. You really mean that, don't you? I wouldn't have said it if I had not. We both do. All right. Your loyalty is duly noted. Let's just hope we can uh, put this whole matter to rest without too much of a hassle. Sorry we had to have this confrontation, Rick. Well, your apology is duly accepted. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, uh, if you'll excuse me, I have some patience, sir. Sure. Leslie. Good 
Leslie. You really think it's going to blow over? I hope so. Because we're in big trouble. I'm scared. Hey, it'll pass. It has to. That's soon. Sarah Bernhardt, please. Very funny. <clears throat> Just trying to get you in the mood, that's all. You all set? I'm ready. What about the dress? It's here. Why I saved it, I'll never know. Sentimental, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Anything else? No, no, not unless you've got any questions. Well, I know where and what time. Is there anything else I should know? Well, that should do it. Okay, well, you stay by your phone tonight. I'll call you later with all the details. I could hardly wait. Bye-bye, Scotty. Good luck. $25,000, that's a lot of cash Just to be carrying around. Withdrawn, 731. Murdered last Friday. July 31st, huh. No wonder you left town, went to Florida. It's a good alibi, George. <laughs> I can't stay long. Well, uh, long enough, I hope, to give me a rundown. That's why I'm here. We've been getting a lot of inquiries since the article came out. And Luke's friends are beginning to show interest, too. Excellent. How much money has changed hands? Well, none as yet. You're joking. Rose Kelly wanted to mortgage the diner, but Luke wouldn't let her. Well, what did he say when you tried to talk him out of it? I didn't. Why not? Well, I did try to say something, but, but Luke's right in a way. He feels it would be unfair to take anyone's money until he's sure there's oil on the land. Have you perchance considered what this might mean to us? Yeah, of course. But these are good people. Take the Quartermain's money, sure, but not Rose and Ruby. Not people who barely have enough for themselves. If Basil were here, I think he'd say you were going soft. Well? I think there are some things we should discuss. So apparently there are. And I want this to be between just you and me, no Basil. Well, he's not here. Well, you must promise me you won't discuss this with him. As you wish. I'm going to make a drink. Would you care for one? Holly? Uh, no, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 